I can't do it. I can't do. I can't. I can't do it. Mobile Notion sucks. Can it? Can it just suck less? Okay. Cool. Let, let's make that happen. So if we look right now on my daily planner in both my phone and in actual Notion on the desktop, you can see that the way that this kind of works is that it's a top down and then to the side sort of thing where part of everything would be the today's task then capture inbox and then the calendar because things are divided how they are everything in this section is going to be with the first things on my phone and then everything in this section is going to be the next things in my phone and then everything in this section is going to be the next and the next and the next and this makes for a very bad Notion mobile experience, especially for situations where a lot is in one place. Something to point out is that regarding the Notion iOS widget, these favorites are based off of the top three that you can see on my Notion. We're actually gonna find a very unique solution to making it so that we can have a few but important pages be the main Notion experience by utilizing what we have on Notion as a reference point as to how the experience is on desktop and then making a synced header that only goes between these Notion mobile specific pages. So first and foremost, what you're gonna wanna do is go to your workspace here and basically make a new page. So you go plus page, mobile, daily planner. Now, actually what I wanna do is take this and have it live outside of my workspace. Then you're gonna to wanna to right click and favorite it, okay? So this will be the top one as you can see, Daily Planner Motion Noble. Then what we're gonna to wanna to do is take what I think is also good. Uh, for me, I think I would like to have a task and event calendar and a second brain. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this, duplicate this again, just change this to task slash event calendar, okay? Mobile, then go here, right click, add to favorites, and then we can do second brain mobile. And then go back here, add to favorites. So then I would like it in this order. We can go to this daily planner, Notion mobile, and do a slash sync, slash H2, or whatever you want. Do a colon, hyphen, colon, calendar, hyphen, colon, brain. Copy link, copy link to block, paste this guy, go here, Copy link to block, paste, copy link to block, paste, and then we're gonna copy and sync this main one and paste it into all of the pages on the synced header. And obviously you can do things like adding a brain, adding a calendar, and adding a notepad. But then what we're going to want to do, first and foremost, let's not add covers. That takes up extra space. But let's get the main components of the daily planner into this page, and then the main important thing about a second brain into this page, let's get these Notion mobile pages just the best parts of the pages, the most important things when we're on the go. So if we go here, let's make this side by side, and then let's go back to the actual daily planner. So for me, I'd say it's today's tasks, right? So what we can do is we can duplicate this, and then press the three dots, click the six dots, go move to daily planner Notion mobile. And then another thing for me would be today's habits. Duplicate that, move it there, and then duplicate today's workout. So this would be my daily planner that kind of just has what tasks and habits I have to do for the day. So this is gonna be just top down and very easy for us when we go into the Notion experience when I show you on mobile in a second. Let's actually go into the second brain really quick. I think this is a good one. So if we go here and duplicate this, copy link to block, move to, then if we go to the test and event calendar, I'm gonna go there as well. And what I'm actually gonna do is take my favorite part about this, which is the capture inbox, control D, copy the link, go back, control, you can press the six dots or press control shift P, paste that. I'm actually gonna get rid of this. So now that what this'll do is it'll be a place for me to have things quickly captured on my Notion mobile experience. And then I can duplicate this, move to there, and then make a quick link, da link database here because it's a calendar. And for my purposes, I'm actually gonna need to take this and make a little toggle. So let's actually change this to slash toggle, toggle H2, personal calendar, drag this in here. Then I can go to my Rise Productive Hub calendar, slash toggle, 
this nice toggle h2 thing is going to come in handy and then i'm going to change this to a calendar view as well get rid of the table view you can add some color to this change this to a h2 toggle header get rid of the old thing so now if we go back to my notion mobile and let's sync things up across the board here what you can see is on desktop now i have a very simple daily planner in Notion. Now what I could do would actually be to take these and make them like toggle header twos and drag these up here as well or toggle header threes, whatever your preference is. I think for me, just getting a look for things, it might actually be better to just have them as header threes or not have it at all. I just want to give you the option to sh see what exactly you're interested in. So if I go through this now, it's going to be a much easier experience for me to just say, okay, I got my test at the top. Got these habit trackers right at the top. Very easy for me to scroll through. Or if you want to go in the habit tracker and workout calendar, whatever it is that you have here in different kinds of toggle blocks, that works too. Because instead of you having to do a, a bunch of scrolling, you just go, okay, this is my habits, check, check, check. This is my habits, check, check, check. Obviously take this, turn these both into header twos. Then across the board, this is a very easy way to go through what I got to do rather than me doing a bunch of scrolling. Because if you see in my other previous daily planner experience, Oh boy, how fun is that? Not really, but that's not, you don't want to have a bunch of toggle headers in what you're doing on your normal day to day. So I, I totally don't blame anybody for, for having their setups how they are, but you gotta, you gotta make changes with what makes sense, right? And I go to the task and event calendar here. I have an easy capture inbox where I can do everything in this spot. And the cool thing about this experience is now I go to any of these three and press them and I can go between them as well with the sync block and I'm good to go. And if you want to make all these really nice and just much easier so you don't have any finicky stuff when you press the sync block, what you do is actually lock the pages, right? So if we lock these pages, what will happen is, as you'll see when I go back to my phone in a second, I will not have any random issues with going and, and tapping in the sync header or anything. This is just going to be the easiest experience possible. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all of my latest videos. And check out this video right here to see how you can improve your notion even more.